Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today we are going to talk about uh, the next chapter in Rest Assured for GraphQL APIs. Last time we have seen we were hitting these two GraphQL queries with the APIs that uh, we were fetching some users here and uh, in this query we were fetching different films for Star War. You can see this is the endpoint URL and this is the URL for hasura.io. Today we will see one small thing that how to parameterize your a query for example let's say limit is equal to 10 right now this is hard coded what if i want to add some more attributes here so in that case how to parameterize your query so for example let's say i'll go to hasura.com i mean dot io and graph iql simple login let's generate a new bearer token here so this is a new bearer token and uh, i simple go to my users under my users for example let's say i want to fetch some information here for example let's see i want to fetch id and name i want to give a limit also limit of 10 and uh, along with that let's see just want to capture this okay so this is simple that exactly same thing we did last time so i'll do one thing that uh, i want to parameterize it so for parameterizing it let me just copy this and paste it over here and i'll do one thing that uh, i'm going to use the concept of data provider here this data provider annotation, I'm going to use it with testng. So simple write, let's see public void get uh, query data. Okay. So let's see, this is my method name and this will return what? This will return new two dimension object array like that. And then I'll be maintaining inside my data in these two brackets here. So let's see, I want to give the data as a 10 here. So the limit is equal to 10 will be given to this guy. How? So first of all, data provider we have to import from testng and the return type of this method will be two dimension object array. Fine. Now, what exactly I'm going to do that? I simply say this at the rate test annotation is using data provider and the name of the data provider is get query data. Simple, write it over here. It means we have given only one column and one value. We are passing this particular data to get all users test. So we have to First of all, let me change the method name. I simply write get all user test with a data, something like this with the data test. And then we need to provide one holding parameter, whatever the data that you are passing this 10 over here, we need to hold somewhere, right? So that's why I'm writing, let's see limit variable or any variable name that you want to create, you can create that. And the same limit I'll be transfer over here. So I'm going to remove this hard coded value. I simply added this limit here. And that's it okay so if you run it the data is coming from here so now i can create multiple set of data in the next row i can simply write that uh, uh, the limit should be five only like that so the same test case will be executed two times one is limit is equal to 10 will be given to this guy and limit equal to five will be given to this guy and the same limit i'm using in my query and rest of the things will remain same the only thing is that i need to update my bearer token so copy this uh, authorization token and uh, you simple remove this guy from here and uh, let me just remove it. It's a long token. Let me just remove it from here from and then paste it here. The new token that I have added here. So let's run this and let's see it is working or not. And I'll do one thing. I'm not going to. OK, let it check the body also. That's OK. Let's run it and let's see. So same test case should be executed two times. Okay. And you can see the query limit equal to 10. You can see that limit equal to 10 first time getting the data and then limit equal to five. So both the test cases got passed for 10 and five. And you can see the query over here in the second one limit equal to five. And the first one you can see over here, the limit is equal to 10 here. And then we are getting the data user size is 10 here and the second query response uh, we are getting the user size is 5 only 1 2 3 4 and 5 so you can parameterize like that so let me do one thing let's see this is simple a user query then in that particular user query let me hit that user query and you can see that name is equal to this so if you really want to add one more attribute for example let's see users where and i simply say name is equal to and you can write the name over here. Let's see, I'm simple writing or something, some different name we can take it. Let's see this one, me.derela, me <coughs> something like that. 
okay and then you run it so we are getting only one name because obviously one user having only one name here so now we have two parameters limit 10 and then this one right so i'll do one thing right click on it and go to inspect and then uh, go to network tab once again and then we will try to fetch this query and uh, go to headers as i told you earlier go to view source and copy this entire query from here to here and add this query over here when we add the query now we can see two hard-coded values the first hard code value is 10 so what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to add one more attribute here comma what is the see the query is this guys the query is that limit 10 and name is this me dot darilla so me dot darilla and then again you search for five attributes and again search for and let's see i simple say maybe some some other name so if you really want to remove this from here and uh, remove this where we can search once again where name is equal to something else let's see job school dot o2 something like this fine and now we have passing we are passing two parameters so limit comma or string name you can pass it fine so 10 will be given to limit and this user will be given to name over here and then i have to remove the hard coded value see this a uh, derilla is available here so what should i do in this case i have to replace with name so simple write plus plus name here okay ah see we have not removed a 10 over here so i think uh, we have to add limit also see this limit we have to add it here okay because for the second user also it was taking 10 only so let's run it and let's see the final thing so now it's picking five over here and both the test cases is fine for the second query it's taking five for jawschool.o2 perfect so like this simple you can do that now let's take one more example what if uh, you want to add uh, to do's so let's see i simple add to do's also and where i simple write where or let's see simple add to do's where i just want to capture its title so to do's title is uh, there and i'll do one thing let's see pick this particular user and or let's see pick this particular user username is equal to this so i'll add user where um okay so user where name is equal to what the name is equal to this okay and in to do's what is the title i want to capture and uh, the simple where title is equal to what see this is the title is equal to flutter development fine so i simple say that title is equal to to do's title is equal to this so let's see i'm getting only one record here perfect this one so i should get this particular response but i have to use this query now so i'll do one thing right click on it and inspect the query once again go to network tab and then get the query go to view source copy this long query from here copy this and just replace the query here pass the certain parameters so now we have to pass three parameters over here for example let's see limit 10 and we will pick the parameter name is equal to what name is equal to this something like this and then we have to add the third parameter the third argument that we have to pass that is the to do's title which is equal to flutter development flutter development like that okay so let me just pass only one single data okay like this and then we will keep replacing this 10 hard coded value we will be replacing with limit variable and then we have to maintain one more third parameter over here as well that is your uh, title title of the to do's so title will be given to this guy name will be re okay will be replacing this guy akshay over here so i simple write plus plus a name here and i just keep appending the title here as well the title is what instead of flutter development pick the title from my data provider plus plus here and then this one okay so i have removed all the hard coded values and let's see it is working or not for this set of data so likewise i have now one row three column same wise you can create number of <coughs> rows here so let's run it and let's see so here the query is done test case is done and let's see the query first of all yeah the query is right that's why we are getting the data the same response you are getting over here as well see guys flutter development for akshay same thing flutter development for this guy and uh, the query let's see the query is exactly same this is a query that we are using it 
limit is equal to 10 name is equal to akshay and to do's title is flutter development like that so this is how you can just simple parameterize your query and then pass the data from your data provider if you really want to pass the data from excel sheet also you can integrate with the excel sheet with the help of apache poi api create a method which will return the two dimension object array and call that method from here and give the same two dimension object array to your uh, test method with the help of data provider and that's it so this is how we do the data driven testing for rest api with respect to graphql as well let me know if you have any issues till then take care and god bless you well i'll see you in the next video Bye bye